In this video, we will be using our Art & Glow products to make resin feather jewelry. What I like to do first is sort through my feathers and match them with each bezel before anything sticky gets involved. To prepare my workspace, I've taped parchment paper to a wooden board. This will ensure you have a level workspace and if you need to move your project, you can do it with ease. I cut my resin tape one square at a time and make sure you push those bezels down very firmly. You don't want any resin seeping out of the bottom. Now time for the first pour. You wanna make sure you mix your resin properly. I like to do it between four to five minutes to ensure proper mixing. Make sure to keep your artist torch and a toothpick close by. You wanna really monitor those little pesky bubbles that will come up. After curing for 24 hours, now it's time to peel up the resin tape. Make sure to do it slowly so you don't get any sticky residue. No matter how hard I try, I still always get at least one bubble trapped in between the resin tape and the jewelry. But that's okay. Just clean it up with your X-Acto knife. Then you'll be able to pour the resin inside of it and make it disappear. While doing your top coats, make sure to use your stir stick to put the resin on because it helps you control the amount of resin and the speed in which it goes onto your jewelry. Make sure to give it that final torch before you cover and let it cure for another 24 hours. At this point, there are some pieces of your jewelry that are ready to go. There will be others that are a little bit behind, so you just wanna go in and fix those blemishes. Using 220 grit sandpaper and a little bit of water will be perfect for getting out any of those blemishes before doing your final top resin coat. Laying out all of your jewelry findings will make assembling these a breeze. And there you have it, your very own Art & Glow Feather Resin Jewelry made by you. Each piece is one of a kind. Surely everyone will wanna get their hands on a piece. Thanks for watching.